played unbeaten against the European heavyweight champion John Gardner in an important 10 round bout. This ABC Sports Exclusive is being brought to you by Pontiac, inviting you to test drive a new Pontiac soon, including the new generation J2000 for 1982. By Gillette Atra, the pivoting head razor. It's Gillette's best shave. And by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. This is the Joe Lewis Arena in Detroit, Michigan. Panoramic shot of it. They are dedicating the arena in memory of Joe this very night. The fights have been held here previously. The great Brown Bomber may be the greatest heavyweight who has yet lived. His wife and children here tonight, and so it figures to be a festive occasion. Hello again, everyone. It's good to have you with us. We hope we've got some some exciting boxing for you tonight, but in truth, only time will tell. Of course, it'll be Holmes against Spinks, who himself was once the heavyweight champion of the world. But right now, we're getting ready for an important 10-round bout, and it'll be the European champion, John Gardner, against unbeaten Michael Dokes, and my friend of 30 years will be calling that fight for you. Veteran boxing announcer, Chris Schenk. 30 years. <laughs> well... That went as fast as our bout's going to start. We're ready to go. Both fighters, John Gardner, the European champion, is in the ring in the far left corner, and Michael Dokes is in the near right corner. And this is a scheduled 10-round bout. The referee is Tom Briscoe, and they're boxing under the Michigan rules. They're different, of course, than the WBC, and it's going to be a fast-paced opening round, as you can see. That's Dokes, undefeated. This is his 21st professional fight, ranked number three by the WBC. Gardner is often been compared to a Sherman tank. Good left hook by Dokes. Round one of a scheduled 10 rounder at Joe Los Arena. And a good combination by the European champion who is tough as they come. Toe to toe here in the first round. Gardner in the red trunks has lost only twice. He has never been knocked out. He has 28 knockouts in a career of 33 wins. He doesn't do it with one punch. He does it with a is standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Dokes used to be a heavyweight that would run, but now he's flat-footed, and he wants to punch it out with the European champion. 215-pound Michael Dokes of Akron, Ohio, fighting out of Fort Lauderdale from Hackney, England, at 208 and a half pounds. He's making his American debut and impressive here in the first round. Well, if the Sphinx Holmes fight starts like this and can be sustained. You're in for two hours of action here from Joe Louis Arena live. Tom Briscoe was a last minute substitute as the referee. Michigan rules the three judges do the scoring a ten point must. The referee only supervises the bout as it happens in this twenty and a half square ring. Beautiful sturdy ring. Just to say, you can see that the two fighters have not used it very much. Staying right in the center and checking each other out, trying to find an opening. The left jabs are not as fast. There was one of the quicker ones by Dokes thus far in the fight, and a missed right hand lead. But coming in with that left hook, a beautiful shot by Dokes, another one. He is a tough champion from Europe. A good right hand by Gardner. Blocked from your view. It caught the chin of Dokes. But Dokes is one of those heavyweights when he's hurt. He can come back. There's a jab that you saw it snap Dokes' head back. What a first round. About 20 seconds remaining in the initial round. The schedule 10. Dokes now has a tiny cut over his left eye. His back is to us in the white trunks. Six foot three inches tall. Look at that wide stance, flat-footed. Normally he's up on his toes and does a lot of moving around the ring. Oh, he missed a sizzling right. Here alongside the Detroit River, Joe Louis Arena, we go into round two of a live, ten-round non-title bout. Michael.
Bill Dokes in the white trunks, 215 from Europe. His American debut, John L. Gardner. Better than 35 fights, lost only two, and we hope you saw the first round. It was a slugfest. Not an awkward slugfest. They were toe-to-toe -to -toe with plenty of jabs, good combinations. Both fighters felt the sting of the opponent's punches, and they're doing it right again. They're within range. That jab just has to flick out there like Dokes did on the head of Gardner. Gardner, 208 and a half. A good body shot by Dokes. Dokes' last fight was against Randall Texcoff in March. This is the first fight. Ocasio. Look at this slugfest. An important fight for both heavyweights. Rank number three is Dokes on the far side. Possibly 10 or 11 is Gardner from Europe. Both hoping for a title shot. And Larry Holmes waits in his dressing room for his 10th title defense of a heavyweight championship that he's proud of and trying to regain a We've reached the halfway point of the slower-paced second round. It was a glancing right-hand lead by Dokes. Dokes needs to jab, just as he did there. Oh, a body punch that you can feel here at ringside. And Dokes gets one on the left side. A good shot by Gardner. Caught Dokes on the side of the face. This is scheduled for 10 it's going, I don't think it will last. We have a minute remaining in the second round. There you saw the power, the accuracy of the left jab, snapping that head of Gardner. Their defense is catching punches and trying to retaliate. glaring at each other. It's almost like a grudge battle. It's the first time they've seen one another. Three judges here. One happens to be a lady named Rosemary Grable. Two gentlemen. They're jabbing each other's heads off. Coming up, round two. Now we're in round three. Cut man Bill Prezana, the corner of Michael Dokes. Again, uh, puts him a Dremlin 1000 on the tiny cut on the eyelid, the left eyelid of Michael Dokes in the white trunks. Undefeated. 21 bouts, 20 wins. He has a draw. They have had four like opponents. In the red trunks. From Hackney, England, is a man that won on a six-round knockout over Ocasio in March of this year and appears very, very fit for this scheduled 10-rounder. Gardner has only gone 10 rounds once in his career of 35 fights because he has 28 knockouts. He is unmarked. Red in face, however, from the jabs and some of the hooks thrown by Dokes. Dokes at 6-3. John L. Gardner of England in red at 6-1. round in the third round, but near the halfway point or even later. Everyone expected that John L. Gardner of England, as the pace slows down now, catching their breath, would be charging like a mad bull. Good snapping away by Dokes. That's one of his better defensive skills. Snapping away or slipping the punches. He avoided getting caught with a heavy shot. Upper body movement, a massive upper body on the part of Dokes at 215 pounds. Ten knockouts for Dokes. One thing about Dokes, when he uh, digs that left hook to the body, he does not telegraph it. And 
the referee, Teddy, uh, Tommy Briscoe, says keep the punches up. There have been no knockdowns cut on the left eyelid of Michael Dokes in the first round. Been a very close fight. Remember, it's the 10-point must here. Michigan State Commission rules. The three knockdown rule is in effect, and those were Michael Dokes' best shots. And the Englishman took them. Fighter can be saved by the bell in all rounds. That'll not be true under the WBC rules, which prevail when Larry Holmes comes out of the dressing room after this fight to meet Leon Spinks, a scheduled 15-round World Heavyweight Championship bout. Less than 10 seconds, and they'll get a rest. Here at Joe Louis Arena before perhaps 12,000 boxing fans on the home Spinks card. We're in the bout preceding the championship fight. The red trunks on the right at 6'1", 208 and a half pounds from England. John L. Gardner lost only two against American hopeful in the heavyweight division, Michael Dokes. Michael Dokes, who is a very bright young man, has a lot of interests, has the ability to change strategy. The strategy is a little different in this fight. Flat-footed, toe-to-toe with his English opponent. If you just join us, a tiny cut it over the left eye, the F left eyelid, Dokes in the white trunks. Now the jabs are not as accurate here in the fourth round. Remember, if you're judging the fight, the 10-point must. The winner, 10 points. The loser of the round, 9 or less. A good left hook. Doesn't phase Gardner one bit. British and European champion. Look how the Englishman cocks that right hand. He's an uncomplicated fighter. reputation coming to the United States is that he always gives 100 percent. I think thus far you'll have to agree. We'd like to alert our stations along the line that we'll be taking a station break at the end of this round. Oh, beautiful combination, setting him up with two left hooks, a right, a left, a right, left again. Michael Dokes, ranked number three in the WBC rankings, wanting to prove that he has what it takes. He wanted this as a test. I think you'll have to agree that he has what it takes at 6'3", 215 pounds. Quick, quick hands. Good combination puncher. And the native of Akron, Ohio, where in high school he was a linebacker, a tackle. Now here you see those lefts. There was the first right, another left. And you see Gardner's wobbly now. Spaghetti legs. Another left hook. That one on the back of the head, almost a rabbit punch. A left hook. Another. And it won't be long. And there it is. Mouthpiece being knocked right from the jaw of the big heavyweight from Hackney, England. Remember, it's the first time he has been stopped. Only his third loss. As we look at it from another angle, as Tom Briscoe, the referee, lets them go at it. It was a vicious attack, a flurry of punches. Look at Dokes. Dokes giving it his all with a minute and 10 seconds remaining in that fourth round. And the only knockdown of the scheduled 10-round bout came right there. And he hit the deck very, very hard, but insulite is beneath this canvas here, which helps absorb some of the shock. And of course, there is a happy man. He is only 22 years old. 